the first electric Honda is here. And today, I'm gonna take my first test drive in the 2024 Honda Prologue. And it's the touring model. It means I'm not gonna know everything about the vehicle. That's why I grabbed somebody who does know hey, everything. Hey, what's up, Brian? Hey, how Justin. Are you? Hey, guys, how you doing? Justin Thompson's a salesman here at Smale Honda in Greensburg. And today, we're gonna take this Prologue on a test drive. Let's check it out. If you're interested in a Honda vehicle, come check us out online. We're at smalehonda.com. First thing I want to talk about on the exterior of this vehicle, Justin, is the color, right? Yes, this is a sonic gray. And whenever you get in there close in the sunlight, you can actually see a little bit of uh, metal flake in there. Uh -huh. Really looks unique, really pops. Yeah, it does. It kind of changes the color with the lighting. At night, it'll look a little bit more blue, in my opinion. You'll see this new distinct look to the front grille. You have a lot of electric cars out there that just look kind of plain in the front. So this has some styling and some attitude, in my opinion. Well, LED lights, you have the bumper sensors in the front for the touring with the fog lamps as well. And uh, that's a sensor in the front, kind of like a grill. So you're gonna okay. have the sensor for your adaptive cruise control. In the top of the windshield, you're gonna have your camera mounted for your lane keep assist system and your road departure mitigation. Coming along the side of the vehicle, you do have the 19 inch wheels. You do have the nice Bridgestone all-season tires. What's nice about the Prologue, you do have the piano black accents all across the vehicle. Uh, much better than that uh, kind of dull kind of look that you get with some of the uh, fender flares and whatnot. Sportier, so, I would say. I even. like it. It's a, it's a little bit more sporty. You have the piano black outside mirrors. And then you do have the smart entry, too. So as long as you have the key fob on you, you can walk up to the car, hit that button, and unlock it. And then you close it and hit the button again, and that will lock it up. Yeah, we're all locked up. Yeah, pretty simple to use. Yep. And you have it all the way around, by the way, on all four doors. Coming along the back of the vehicle, you're gonna see that piano black bumper again with the bumper sensors. Got that little silver uh, bumper on the uh, bottom there. Kind of give it a little two-tone look. You do the prologue and the touring badging on the back. And then something, I don't know if you notice this, Brian, see how the Honda uh, oh, is lowercase letters. That's so completely different. That is, that's for the electric lineup. So you're gonna see that's uh, a little bit different than what you see on the other Hondas. And of course the E uh, and the all wheel drive symbol in the back as well. To get into the trunk, I imagine there's just a button back One here. One touch and we'll open up the uh, back tailgate. You do have Power. the button on your key fob to hit twice. We'll open up the tailgate as well. Yeah, and what's really nice back here, I like these all weather mats that we have in the back of this prologue. Say prologue on them. Yep. And uh, definitely, you have a lot of storage back here. You sure You do. also have a 12 volt charger over on this side. Yep. But, uh, and some lights back here. Yep. But let's just take a look Go underneath ahead. here, right? Underneath, you do have some extra storage. Yeah. And then you have your jack, you have your fix a flat there for a flat tire. Uh, front license plate bracket, that's what that is. But yeah, you got some extra cargo space here. We have the carpeted yeah. floor mats because we have the all weather mats inside of the vehicle right now. Cool. But a lot of storage space. Definitely. Awesome. So in the back of the vehicle, you're going to see you have the 60 40 split folding seats. And okay. Well, go ahead, Ryan. I'll let you put the seats down there. Wow. I'll tell you what, that was super simple. Isn't that easy? Yeah. All you have to do is just flip that switch there and it basically just falls forward on its own. Yeah. I didn't have to push that or anything. It just nope. sort of tipped over. And, and it's nice and flat there. There is. Yeah. And there's a ton of space in here. I don't know if this is comparable to the CRV, but I, I definitely think that I'm getting CRV space vibes in yes it. you know i would i would kind of classify this kind of around the crv passport kind okay. of size show me how this remote start works sure so on the key fob the little uh circle with the times two that's yeah. the button that you're going to hit so you hit that twice in a row and it's going to bring your lights on there okay okay there's actually two colors in there it is yeah and that's remote starting right now and that's going to bring the cabin to whatever temperature you had set before you left the vehicle the night or day before okay It'll run for about 60 minutes and then shut off. Wow, so, really? Yeah, wow. it's going to run itself for a long time. But uh, uh, there's no uh, exhaust, you know. No exhaust. Whatever. You can you can remote start this inside of the garage and uh, get it cooled up. Uh, something to notice or point out, I should say, is whenever you're charging the vehicle, that's a good time to do the remote start. You know, yeah. while it's still plugged in, charging at home. That way, it doesn't deplete the battery down while it's remote starting. Hey, with the Honda Link, are you able to remote start the vehicle? Yes. Wow, so you can be remote start your vehicle from anywhere, right? From, your, from anywhere, from your phone. You'll actually be able to do that through the Honda Link app. Getting into the back seats here, Justin, obviously we have a black interior with some uh, gray inserts and some orange stitching in here. These back seats are actually really comfortable. Uh, feels really spacious back here. I have a lot of room between me and the seats in front of me. Yep. Uh, of course, on the back of these seats, you have some compartments for storing things left and right side. You have some ventilation back here. 
a little cubby for storing stuff, and two USB-C fast charging ports mm -hmm. there. Something else to point out, notice how the floor is completely flat in the back? Oh yeah. So you, you really don't have that that big bubble in there for mm -hmm. the transmission and some of the gas powered vehicles. So being yeah. that this is electric, you're gonna have more of a flat surface in the back. More space. More space. And uh, uh, you know, I know you pointed this out, they have this gray leather inlay on the doors and the seats. So you can see how this is gray and then this is black. And it's yes. the same with the seats that you're sitting on too. I think it gives it some uh, uh, really nice styling look with the uh, orange stitching as well. And then you can pull that center console down. You got some cup holders as well. Yeah, love two cup holders back here. But the one thing I really want to talk about is this gigantic panoramic sunroof because I have a yep. lot of visibility vertically. I feel like this is not a normal feature that I would see in a Honda. So this is interesting. This is a bigger panoramic roof. Yeah. A lot of cool things in the back seats here. Let's jump up front and then we'll get this thing on the road. So getting into the front row of the Prologue for the first time here, Justin, this looks completely different than any Honda that I've driven before. Yeah, yeah. Honda teamed up with uh, GMC to um, build and design the Prologue. So you're gonna see a different interior than you do with the other uh, Hondas in the lineup. But you got the black leather interior here. Uh, you have some gray touches with the dash uh, on that and the door inlay as well. And then the center console yeah. too with the orange stitching. Yeah, too. orange yeah. stitching really sticks out in here. It's really nice. Absolutely. Uh, let's go ahead and start things up and I'll put my foot on the brake and hit the engine start button. Still got to do that, you know? Yeah. Asking me to buckle up, so I'm yes. just going to go ahead and do that Absolutely. now. Absolutely. You do have to buckle up in order to shift out of park. That's yep. important to know. Yep. So obviously, whenever this turned on, we didn't hear that engine kick on, yeah, right? Yeah, there's no gas engine. Obviously, a full electric vehicle, mm -hmm. so it's going to yeah. be quiet as can be. Yeah, we have two digital displays in front of us. Yeah. The dashboard up here, mm -hmm. fully digital. We have our miles per hour, as well as looks like some of our charging um, uh, display is there. So that's kind of cool. On the right side, we have our infotainment screen. Looks like you have a lot of stuff on here, including Google Assistant. Yes. So cool. you're going to be able to use Google Assistant to, you know, make phone calls or, or navigate the um, audio system mm -hmm. as well. Um, you also have the Apple CarPlay Android Auto integration as well, Perfect. which is, is that wireless. Wire? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep. We got wireless. And this is the wireless phone charger too. So you can actually take your phone and just pop it in there and that will charge, charge it up it. while you're driving so nice. i'm charging perfect and that even worked through your case that's awesome yes. <laughs> yeah i have a otter box and it worked right through it yep let's look at some other things that are here on the infotainment screen right because mm -hmm. there's some things that i'm not used to seeing on on honda vehicles right there's ambient lighting yes right? so you can go in there and you can actually change the ambient lighting at night you'll see that this will actually change yeah. i'm not sure if we're really going to see it right now you know, with the... Uh, I kind of see it, it's just right along there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Honda Link, can plus OnStar, can you yes. tell anybody about that who maybe yeah. isn't familiar? So Honda Link is an app that you can download on your phone that you can um, do stuff with uh, the vehicle while you're not in it. So okay. um, you can actually remote start your car from your phone. You can lock or unlock the vehicle from your phone. You can check and see how much range you have, mm -hmm. uh, what your battery life is. Um, even when you're charging your vehicle up, you'll actually be able to see the status of the charge while you're on the phone. That's awesome. Uh, you don't even have to be in the vehicle. And then the OnStar is a, a GMC uh, feature there, uh, mm -hmm. something new uh, with the Honda customer. We never had OnStar, they just had the Honda uh, Assist, yeah. which would call emergency services automatically. So. This OnStar is used for, you know, making appointments, scheduling, you know, a restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, scheduling a, a flight, you hotel. know, booking a hotel. Yeah. So you can go on OnStar and uh, uh, really take advantage of that stuff. Something that people may have a question of, if they have an Apple phone, are they gonna have any compatibility issues with the navigation here since it seems to be Google-based? Absolutely like that not, no. Cool. In fact, you can kind of do one of two things. You can use your Navi setup in here uh, through the Google Assistant um, and then, excuse me, the maps, or you can use your phone integration. Right. So Apple CarPlay, I have Apple Maps, I do have Google Maps on my phone as well, and uh, Waze is a navigation app that I like to use. So whatever uh, Navi app you have on your phone, you're gonna be able to use on here as well. Take a look at the steering wheel for a second. It's black leather with uh, stitching throughout. It looks like a gray stitching. Mm -hmm. um, but on the left-hand side, it looks like we have our adaptive cruise control settings. We'll test that, that out on the test drive. Yep. 
Uh, the right side of the steering wheel, though, looks like we have our push to talk button. Yes, that's for your uh, voice command, mm -hmm. um, either through Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or your Google Assistant. But uh, you're able to answer phone calls and hang them up through this as well. Okay. Uh, and then this button actually will change the view that you have up on the screen. Oh, wow. The steering wheel. You can yep. have the navigation up there. Mm -hmm. That's really neat. Yes, you can. Can't, yep. can't miss a turn that way. Nope. Uh, we obviously have our uh, safety features up there, right? Absolutely. And it's, it's however you want to view that stuff. So yeah. that's like your... Uh, uh, gap adjustment yeah. for your adaptive cruise control. Uh, audio right now is unavailable, but if you hit the music note, that'll turn on the audio, okay. and then you can use this little scroll button up yeah. and down, and then that's actually an under button as well, so you can press it in and choose whatever. So on the left-hand side of the steering wheel here on the dash, we have our park, our lane keep assist, and our auto hold button. Yes. So for anybody who may be curious about what auto hold is, can you yep. kind of tell us what that is? Well, for our Viewers that have uh, watched our other videos, the auto hold for Honda actually holds the brake while you're at a traffic light or a stop sign. So with the auto hold button on, you need to be buckled up. Um, again, whenever you come to a complete stop using the brake on the floor, it'll lock that so you can rest your foot while you're in drive. All you have to do is hit the accelerator to release it. It'll stay in the standby mode and lock up every time you come to a complete stop through your travel. Yeah, if I come to a complete stop here. Yep, and it says auto hold in green right up on the dash. Perfect. That's how you know that you can, uh, you're can, you safe to release your, your foot off the brake. Yeah, absolutely worked very seamlessly there. This also has the one pedal driving too, right? It does, yes. So that's going to be a little bit different. So yeah. people are not going to be used to that. We don't have that in, in the, that setting right now. So we can actually change that just by going to the home button, going to controls, and then going into see more controls, and we're gonna go into drive and park. It's actually off right now, but what this does, one pedal driving will allow you to drive the vehicle, and might as well demonstrate yeah. it, right? So when you start driving, when you let off on the accelerator, it'll oh. regen brake. Yeah. yeah. It actually will brake the vehicle on its own. Yeah, I feel and that. And it's pretty wild. I mean, if you're going fast, as soon as you let off on the brake, or the accelerator, excuse me, it'll start to break the vehicle on its own. Yeah. Um, so some people might not be comfortable with that because they're not used to it, okay? Mm -hmm. It's nothing that's, uh, it's just different, you know? Yeah. So they do have the option to take that off so that whenever you are off the accelerator, it'll coast just like a regular, uh, you know, gas power or a hybrid vehicle. But what that does, that actually does some regenerative braking for you that tops okay. off your, your range a little bit while you're driving. Okay, so you get a so little bit of more range. Get a little bit more range, yep. Yeah, I could see how that would be the case. It definitely, to me, reminds me of sort of like a golf cart, you know. It's That's that, a good analogy. Yeah. Yep. So, Justin, we have a unique shifter in this vehicle yep. as well, right? Can you kind yep. of explain this to us? Yeah, again, it kind of reminds me of the uh, Mercedes shifter. It is, know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, again, you have to be buckled up in order to shift out of park. But the uh, little indicators on there, you see the arrow, how it says mm -hmm. pointing back? That would put you in neutral. So, if you pull back and down, we'll go to drive. Okay. So that's neutral. Just pull back in neutral, down is drive. drive, and pull forward and then up, we'll go into reverse. AC settings down here, Justin, mm -hmm. looks like kind of like a piano key style uh, layout. Yep. And you have heated seats on both sides, huh? You do. You have the heated seats for the driver and the passenger. You have your different modes down here, uh, complete on and off on the system altogether. You do have the auto climate control, mm -hmm. so you can set whatever temperature you want inside of the cabin and it will maintain that temperature for you. Uh, max front defrost, rear defrost, your fan speed, recirculate air, AC, and then you have this heat button as well. But also, you can actually go on to the touchscreen and go under climate here. Yeah. And actually bring up some, the fan speed, okay. which you can do here manually, or you can actually increase or decrease it there. You can have your front defroster on. You can actually change the different modes here if you yeah. want. Down below that, we have two USB-C yes. fast charging ports. Yep. And a 12 volt charger. Exactly, yep. And a lot of space here, okay? And you also have a, a cavity underneath here. Yeah, so you, you can do. do storage. Yeah. So what's really nice about the electric vehicle, you kind of get rid of all these connections. I understand we yeah. have these two here, but it frees up for a lot of space, mm -hmm. you know? A lot of the stuff is gonna be on the infotainment system and the screens, so you're gonna be able to free up space. You do have a lot of cargo space here for the center console. Yeah, there is. Yep, and with you... the change compartment, which you can bring up front or in the okay. back if you want, so you can see how much room is down there. Yeah, there's definitely a ton of room down yep. there. Yep, and then obviously the center console mm -hmm. is going to act as your uh, 
your center armrest as well, nice. which is wide enough for both the driver and the passenger. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention this gigantic panoramic sunroof yep. above us. Absolutely. I mean, this is this is absolutely huge. It, it has is. a shade yep. that you can close if you want. Yep. We're going to leave it open for purposes of the video. Yep. And it's auto all the way forward or all the way back. You can stop it anywhere along the way if you want. Uh, but the moonroof, yep, yeah, you can, you can tilt, tilt the moonroof. So they actually have the tilt button separate from the regular yeah, open and close that's button. That's actually nice. I yeah. like that too. You press that back and that's one gonna... time all the way back yep auto setting you have the bug shield up here to catch the the bugs whenever yeah. you're driving and then one touch all the way oh Actually, wow you can go back a little bit further that's so much more air than i'm used to this and opens up much yeah wider than the other um sunroofs in the other hondas yeah so we're talking about the non-panoramic sunroofs yeah. and there's a whole bunch of other stuff on here you know we could spend hours upon yeah. hours going over everything but you can actually go in here and get a vehicle status report you know with your That's tire awesome. pressure and energy info yeah. and your trip information mm -hmm. so you know um i think i think moving forward with the electric vehicles with consumers is just going to be that peace of mind and knowing you know do I have enough energy and enough yeah. stored power to get where I need to go? Right. And, and, you know, as we learn these vehicles, uh, uh, it's pretty wild. You yeah. know, they, they charge up pretty quick, and I'll go over that a little bit whenever we're taking them for a drive. Tell you what, let's go ahead and get it out on the road. Let's test this first ever Honda electric vehicle yes. out, right? We're excited. Let's do it. While we're pulling out on the road, this vehicle does admit that uh, kind of outside wire sound or yeah, whatever. It's... And it's to warn pedestrians that the vehicle's moving because of how quiet okay. it is. I do hear that. Yep. Let's get it out onto the highway you got here. It. Wow, and that yeah. actually has a lot of zip yes. just straight out onto the highway. Just... 288 horsepower. Really? It's almost 300 horsepower okay. with the vehicle. That torque and pickup though in an electric car, you're gonna get that power right away. And that's what makes the vehicle seem so fast. And that's why they're peppy. I mean, yeah. uh, uh, that's something that's really fun about the electric vehicles is they take off right from a get-go. So to give you an idea of the range, so, um, it has 281 miles of range and when you have the DC fast charger You're actually charging at a rate of 63 miles per 10 minutes Okay, so that's pretty quick. Yeah, you know so those DC fast chargers that you have out on the road where you're stopping to uh, Along the way on your route, you know to vacation or wherever you're going You're gonna be able to charge up the vehicle uh, fairly quickly and the DC fast charging time from 20 20% to 80% is 35 minutes. So that's wow. not a long time yeah, at all. It's no, a that's very nothing. short amount of time. Yeah. Yep. I always thought that it would take longer. Yeah. And yeah. here's the other thing too. You don't have to get to 80%. You know, as we learn these vehicles and we learn when we need to go, you know, um, you probably want to start charging the vehicle at 20%. So very rarely will anybody be traveling under the 20% threshold. I set up the safety features on the dashboard there, right? Yep, it shows you your distance between the car in front of you. And then you can actually change that interval. Yeah, if I wanna get a little bit closer, I just change this gap here on the left side. Yep. I can press down and that'll close the gap, right? Yes, exactly. So you could use this for um, Honda's adaptive cruise control in the past had what's called low speed follow. So this will have this as well which will work under 25 miles an hour. So if you're ever in heavy traffic, you can bridge that gap between you and the car in front of you so that you don't have as much room for somebody to cut you off. Of course, if somebody did, you had your forward collision brake mitigation system to stop the vehicle. Yeah, just for demonstration purposes, I have the cruise control set to 70. Mm -hmm. The car in front of us is definitely going slower than the 70 right. or 56. Yep, you'll match the car speed in front of you yeah. and then slow up as they slow up, so. But you can cancel cruise just like any other cruise control. Hitting the brake on the floor will cancel it out. If you just cancel cruise altogether on the steering wheel, that will turn it off as well. Will this come all the way down to a complete stop? In this yes, one? it will. Yeah, yeah, that's that low speed follow that I was mentioning. Yeah. So it'll brake all the way down to zero miles an hour. And then, of course, if you're in heavy traffic, you can set your cruise control um, literally at one mile an hour without your foot on the brake. And um, and we'll never let you hit that car in front of you so you can steer through traffic. So on the left-hand side, we do have a vehicle coming into our blind spot. You see that mirror light up. Yep. If I turn on my turn signal, 
it's going to flash at me right there yep. and alert me, hey, don't make that left-hand turn. There's somebody over there in your blind spot, right? Yep. Exactly. So I noticed that the lane keep assist is active because there's two green lines yes. on either side there. Yep. I'm just going to go ahead and inch over here to the left. And all this is doing is kind of keeping me within the lines of the road, right? It is, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of wild, you know, that it'll actually pinball just me. pinball you, yeah, yeah, in between the lines. So, my opinion, still got to drive the vehicle. Right. Um, you know, but it will definitely help, you know, steering the vehicle, you know, for those times that we're just not paying attention and we start to drift, that'll keep us centered in our lane. All right, let's check out the turning radius here. I'm going to do a quick turn. And that easily comes around within those two lanes. Oh, yeah. Let's get up to speed, huh? <laughs> Puts a smile on your yeah. face, doesn't it? You yeah, know? <laughs> really. We're, we're at 60. That, that's that really crazy? great acceleration. It sure and is. You yeah. are at speed before you even realize it. Right. You know, like it's, you can't even really tell because there's so much really nice, it's, there must be sound dampening in here somewhere yes. because I can't really hear a lot of road noise. No. And no. we're, we just get up to speed so quickly you don't even realize yep. it. Yep. So the warranty on the Prologue, you're going to have that standard uh, Honda warranty, that three-year, 36,000-mile comprehensive. So that's going to cover all the electronics and the bells and whistles and computer systems. And then you have the five-year 60 on your powertrain, which is your engine drive, train, transmission, and your all-wheel drive system. And then uh, Honda also offers an eight-year, 100,000-mile warranty for the battery. And then also, Honda's offering two years of complimentary maintenance on the 2024 Honda Prologue. And that's going to cover your regular scheduled filter change, tire rotation, and your multi-point vehicle inspection. And that's redeemable at any Honda dealership. And we, we, of course, would love to have you in for that. But we also have lifetime free inspections for our customers. So right here, okay. we have the backup camera showing uh, sensors back here mm -hmm. and alerting me, hey, the closer that I get. See up on the dash there, too? Oh, you yeah. Have kind of like an aerial view of your car. And it will start off yellow, orange, and red as you get closer to an object behind you or in front of you. And you have those projected lines. As I turn the wheel, you can really tell what direction you're going. Yep. So definitely a lot of great stuff here in the backup camera. Yep. So it's really exciting to see what Honda's doing with this all-electric prologue. Justin, if they have questions about it, how can they contact you? Sure, they can visit us on Route 30 here in Greensburg. And you can ask for me, Justin Thompson. I'd certainly love to help out. Or you can visit us online at smellhonda.com. That's going to do it for our test drive today. So until next time, enjoy the ride. Thanks, guys.